I don't know about you, but I'm still happy in Jesus. Yes. No matter what's going on around us, yes. it has not taken away my joy yes. and it has not taken away my happiness that yes. the Father has yes. given me. Yes. Lift up this song with us. Yeah, you make me happy. You make me whole. You take the pain away. I'm so in love with you. Lord, you make me happy. You make me whole You take the pain away So in love with you Everybody say You make me happy You make me whole You take the pain away I'm so in love with you Sing it again, say You make me happy You make me whole You take the pain away I'm so in love with you Come on, let's lift it up And everything about you is right Because I'm so my own Lord, save my life And everything about you is right Because I'm so my own Lift up your voice right here, wherever you are. 
the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.
Praise the Lord, everybody. I just feel this in my spirit right now. I need the oh, I need thee. Anybody need him? Every hour, I need thee. Oh, bless me now, my Savior. I come to to thee. I need the oil. I need thee. Every hour I need thee. Oh, bless. Anybody need him to bless? me now my Savior my Savior I come to to thee oh, I come with my hands lifted up I come to to thee I, I, I come to to thee we're going to the word we're going to the word grab your Bibles grab your Bibles we're going to the 138th Psalm, the 138th Psalm, I'm reading from the New King James Version, the New King James, the 138th Psalm. Thank you, those of you who are joining us, thank you. Beginning at verse number one, we'll read it in its entirety. It says, David writes, he says, I will praise you. With my whole heart, before the gods, I will sing praises to you. I will worship toward your holy temple and praise your name. For your loving kindness and your truth. For you have magnified your word above all your name. In the day when I cried out, you answered me and made me bold with strength in my soul all the kings of the earth shall praise you O lord when they hear the words of your mouth yes they shall sing of the ways of the lord for great is the glory of the lord though the lord is on high yet he regards the lowly but the proud he knows from afar Verse number seven says, though I walk in the midst of trouble, you will revive me. You will stretch out your hand against the wrath of my enemies and your right hand will save me. Verse number eight, this is the conclusion and this is where I want to take my subject from. Verse number eight says, the Lord will perfect that which concerns me. Your mercy, O Lord, endureth forever. Do not forsake the works of your hands. The Lord will perfect that which concerns me. And I want to come to you this morning, those that are watching, I want to come to you with the subject, our subject today, God will make it right. Grab a family member, put some high fives or some hearts on the screen if you believe that God will make it right. In fact, somebody put it in the comment that God will make it right. Father, bless us now in Jesus' name. 
The God we serve is a God of seasons. He is a God of seasons. We can see it in creation. The Bible lets us know that God created the heavens and the earth, and God created the four seasons that are based upon the rotation of the earth as it orbits, as it spins on its axis and orbits the sun. In fact, Solomon lets us know in Ecclesiastes that there is a time for everything. In other words, there is a predetermined season for everything under the sun. A predetermined moment for everything. There is a fixed time, a pre-programmed agenda. And that goes for you and I as well. That's why uh, he told Jeremiah, before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee and I ordained ordained thee as a prophet unto the nation. In fact, God knew you before time began. He knew you before your father met your mother. In fact, God established a relationship with you long before you arrived here on earth and uh, God has a predetermined season, a predetermined moment in time. In other words, what are you saying, McCoy? I'm saying that God has a schedule, a schedule. He has a schedule. And in case you didn't know, let me inform you that you are on God's schedule. Go ahead and just tell yourself, I'm on God's schedule. And that right there is worthy of praise for the mere fact of knowing that I, that you are on God's agenda, that is something that we all can get excited about. Why? Why, McCoy? Because if we are on God's agenda, if you are on God's agenda, it means you are important to God. Therefore, if you are important to God, therefore you and I, and I am important to God, therefore we can expect the great. We can expect to win. We can expect victory. We can expect to have a successful future for the fact that we are on God's agenda. We are important to God. Jeremiah 29 and 11. Jeremiah 29 and 11. You know what it says. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, say the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. One translation says to give you a future and a hope. And since God is a God of seasons, we can conclude that he is a God of changes. Somebody type changes. He's a God of changes. He does not allow things to remain the same. Yes, precious hearts, trouble may last for a long time, but it will not last forever. That's good news even in the midst of COVID-19. That trouble will not last forever forever. Neither is he the type of God that does things the same way. Some days you have the sun, some days you have cloud, some days you have rain, some days you have sun, clouds, and rain. He changes things up. In fact, 
God told Moses, he says, listen, Moses, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. And God caused the waters to roll up on both sides. And they crossed over on the dry land. They crossed the Red Sea over on a dry land. Now, while Israel was facing the Babylonian captivity, he says to them, forget the past forget how I did it in the past he says behold I will do a new thing and now this time since there is no Red Sea I am going to make a way in the wilderness he changes how he works but regardless of how he does it we're glad to know that he does it good God Almighty, I said regardless of how he does it, we can rejoice in the fact that he does it. He makes ways out of no way. He brings us out. He delivers. And I can rejoice and we can rejoice because God brings us out. Please remember that God is also a God of purpose. Somebody say purpose. He's a God of purpose. God does not allow anything to happen just for the sake of it happening. God is not a willy-nilly kind of God. God has a purpose, purpose, purpose. And for the believers, the seasons we face the predetermined moments, the changes, the, our pre-programmed lives, there is a purpose inside of each and every one of them. Psalm 37 and 23 reminds us that the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and God orders our steps for a purpose we experience it we experience seasons we go through changes all for a purpose precious heart you better recognize and you better remember that god has a purpose and what god starts he completes i said what god starts he completes why because god is a finisher I said God is a finisher. Anybody can start, but can you finish what you started? Our society is filled with quitters. Relationships have fallen apart because someone quit. Jobs foiled apart because someone quit. Oh, business and churches the like. Oh, because they did not or they were not able to finish. But God is a finisher. I said God is a finisher. And not only does God finishes what he starts, but he is capable and he is willing to clean up our messes as well. He is able to secure us the victory and make things whole. He has the power because he is a finisher and God will make it right. And I come to tell you, uh, I come to tell you that God is going to do everything he said he would do he is going to perfect that he is going to make that right every promise he is going to make it right every vision he's going to make it right every dream he's going to make it right god is going to see to it and god is going to make sure he sees you through it every season that we go go through all of the changes we have to make ah uh, we are just in the perfecting stages good god almighty i said where we are right now what we are dealing with what we are facing right now we're only in the perfecting stage in other words god is behind the scenes making it right my that is being perfected and in the end god will make it 
right. I got to deal. I got to deal with the text. I got to deal with the text. In our text, it's unclear the reasons of what events that prompt David to write these words. Perhaps it was a poetic moment and the words spoke the sentiment of his heart as a writer. We don't understand. We don't know why he wrote this song. We just don't know the backdrop. But what we do know is that David begins this song with a great reflection of the past. And he makes it known to God that he will praise him and worship him because of what God has done in the past. David writes in Psalm 138 verse number 2, For you have magnified your word above all your name. May I remind those of you that are listening to me today that God's word will never fail. Ah, the grass withereth and the flowers fade away, but the word of God will stand forever. David reminds us that whatever God does in your life, it is greater than what you can imagine. Our eyes haven't seen, ears have not heard the great things that God wants to do for you. But not only does David make a reflection of the past, but he also gives a revelation of the future. I said he also gives a revelation of the future. He writes in verses 4 and 5, he says, All the kings of the earth shall praise you, O Lord, when they hear the words of your mouth. Yes, they shall sing the ways of the Lord, for great is the glory of the Lord. Now, now, precious hearts, since the quarantine, since we've been on lockdown, God's name is being called on and being praised all over the world. Every social media platform, every video conference platform, every telephone conference platform, God is being praised. The name of the Lord is being shouted out. The name of the Lord is being lifted. Help me out, Paul. Yes, I got you, McCoy. Wherefore, God has given him a name which is above every name. God has highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Things in the heaven and things in the earth and things under the earth and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. I wish somebody who don't mind giving God a praise right here. And lastly, lastly, in Psalm 138, David gives us reassurance while we face troubled times. In verse number 7 and 8, he says, Though I walk in the midst of trouble, you will revive me. You will stretch out your hand against the wrath of my enemies, and your right hand will save me. He says with the utmost confidence, that God will perfect that which concerns me. And I come to tell you on this morning that God will make it right. I feel like preaching a little bit. I said that God will, uh, he will make it right. Everything that's on your mind, he'll make it right. Everything that's troubling your spirit, uh, he'll make it right. Every problem, uh, he'll make it right. Every circumstance, uh, he'll make it right. Every situation, uh, God will make it right. God is going to make it right. I dare you. In fact, I need double dare you to prophesy and declare over your life. It's about to get right up in here. Everything that's going on in here. 
God is about to make it right. God is working on your that and God will make it right. That work he's begun in you, he's going to make it right. That that has been assigned to your hand, he's working on that. The promise he made to you, that he's going to make it right. Every that, that which concerns you, God will make it right. I said God will make it right. So, McCoy, so... What do I do while God is behind the scenes perfecting that which concerns me? What do I do while God is making that thing right? While God is making it right, what do I have to do? While God is working on that, number one, you have to stay focused. Look at your neighbor, look at your neighbor, look at your family member, and say, stay focused. How do I stay focused? Joshua 1 and 8, this book of the law shall not depart from out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night uh, that thou mayest observe to do according uh, to all that is written uh, therein for then uh, thou shalt make thy way prosperous and then thou shalt have good success uh, you have to stay focused on God's word uh, the word of God uh, has to become your living bread. I said the word of God has to become your living bread. For man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against me. What does the word say? If I delight myself um, in the law, in the word, uh, he'll give me uh, the desire of my heart. Uh, the law of the Lord um, is perfect. Um, you have to stay focused um, on the promises of God. Uh, stay focused um, on the end result. Um, even though uh, you're in the middle, um, you're on your way out. Um, the end says uh, all things um, work together um, for the good. Uh, you got to stay in the word. Um, in the word of God, I've got a hiding place. Uh, in the word of God, there is safety. In the word of God, there is security. In the word of God, there is protection. It's the word. It's the word. You gotta stay focused. You gotta stay focused. Number two, you gotta stay in faith. You gotta stay in faith. Somebody put it in the comment. Stay in faith. Now, faith is the substance of things so far. Good God Almighty, it's the evidence of things not seen. The Bible lets us know that faith cometh by hearing uh, Romans 4 and 18 uh, reminds us that Abraham uh, believed in hope uh, when there was no hope uh, that he might become the father uh, of many uh, when he was not the father uh, of any uh, and the Bible says uh, being not a weak in faith uh, Abraham uh, Abraham uh, stayed in faith uh, he considered not uh, the deadness of his body uh, he considered not uh, Sarah's condition uh, but he was strong in faith uh, he staggered not uh, what are you saying McCoy I'm saying stay in faith uh, stagger not um, regardless of what you see uh, stagger not uh, 
regardless of what you feel uh, stagger not um, and be fully persuaded uh, that he uh, that has begun a good work in you uh, he will uh, he will uh, he will won't he do it won't he do it he will uh, I know he will I come to let you know, uh, listen, God is responsible uh, of, being, of bringing the manifestation. Uh, God is responsible. Uh, all you need to do uh, is just stay in faith. Uh, if you have faith, um, the signs of a grain of mustard seed, uh, you can move mountains. Uh, faith is necessary uh, to overcome. Uh, faith is necessary um, to receive the promises of God. The just shall live uh, by faith, uh, faith uh, to believe, uh, faith uh, to believe the impossible, faith uh, to see the invisible, uh, faith to conquer. I got faith uh, over fear. I got faith uh, over my body. I got faith, I got faith, stay in faith. I feel like preaching now, good God Almighty. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. What do I do <laughs> in the meantime? What do I do while God is perfecting? What do I do while God is making it right? I got to stay focused. Not only do I have to stay focused, I have to stay in faith. Can I give you one more? You have to stay in the fight. I said you got to stay in the fight. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You got to stay in the fight. How do you stay in the fight? You fight by praying. For the Bible says men ought to always pray and never faint. You got to pray without ceasing. Prayer changes things. Prayer changes people. Prayer changes situation. The Bible makes it crystal clear that the fervent effectual prayer of the righteous of uh, very uh, much so I gotta stay uh, in the fight uh, by staying uh, on my knees uh, little prayer little power no prayer no power much prayer much power stay in the fight uh, stay in the fight uh, you can stay in the fight uh, by using uh, the power of his name. Uh, there's still power, wondrous working power, healing power in the name of Jesus. Tell me uh, who can stand before us uh, when we uh, call on uh, that great name. Uh, his name uh, is Jesus. His name uh, is Jesus. Something happens when we call that name. Things change when we call that name. His name. You can stay in the fight by using the power of his blood. The blood hasn't lost an ounce of power. It still reaches to the highest mountain. It still flows, it still flows to the lowest valley. The blood, the blood that gives me strength, the blood will give you strength. Stay in the fight, stay in the fight, stay in the fight, stay in the fight. I got to quit. I got to quit because my time is about up. Uh, but I come to remind you uh, that
there's one more weapon uh, that will keep you in the fight uh, you have to remember uh, you can fight uh, by keeping your praise uh, you can fight uh, by keeping your praise because when praises go up uh, the blessing comes down uh, when praises go up God comes down uh, he gets right in uh, the midst uh, of my storm uh, he gets right in uh, the midst uh, of my situation the more I pray them uh, the better I feel the more I pray them uh, the better I feel uh, the more I pray them uh, the stronger I get you've got to uh, keep the praise uh, keep the praise somebody somebody uh, give them a praise uh, right now God will uh, make it right. Uh, I gotta quit. Uh, I gotta go. Uh, but before I go, uh, let me leave you uh, with this last thing that He will. Uh, he will. Uh, he'll do it. I don't have uh, no doubt in my mind. I don't have. If He did it before, He's the same God with the same power. God will make it right. In fact, believers, believers, it's already all right i said it's already all right we're just waiting for the manifestation because god will do what he said he'll do god will keep his promise don't be dismayed don't be discouraged because god he will perfect. I don't know what your that may be. You may be sick in your body. You may be experiencing financial crisis as we navigate through COVID-19. But precious hearts, you've got to believe it. You've got to know it that God will perfect it. He will make it right. For those of you who are listening to me, I want to pray you have not made the commitment of accepting Jesus, Lord of your life. I want to give you an opportunity to make him Lord. Grab your mobile device, grab your phone, touch it, touch it, and repeat after me. And says, Lord Jesus, I'm a sinner and I need to be saved. I believe you died on the cross. I believe you rose again. And now you sit on the right hand of the Father. Come into my life. I make you Lord of my life. I thank you because right now I am saved. Now, if you pray, pray that prayer, we believe that God has heard you. And we believe you are now saved. This is what I need you to do. I need you to inbox us. I need you to send us an email at info at judachristiancenter.org let us know that you are now a born again believer and now we also want to make sure i want to make sure that connect with a bible believing a bible teaching church and there is no other greater church right now than i can extend you an opportunity and that is to make judah christian center your church go to our website judah christian center dot org select the box that says connect or you can type in tell me more to 
714441, 71441, and we will make sure you have all of the pertinent information. Now listen, before you hang up, before you go to the next place that you're going, before you move past our screen, do me a favor. I know this word has blessed you. I know this word has blessed you. I want to give you an opportunity. I want to make this an opportunity for you to sow into this word on today. I need you to sow into this word on today. If you believe God will make it right, I want you to sow. 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 In fact, if you can sow no less than $25, sow a seed of no less than $25. You can give by way of Givelify. You can give. Uh, the, thank you. All of the information is being posted on the screen even now you can cash app to dollar sign judah dmv you can give by way of give the fine or you can text or you can go to our website please ma'am please sir thank you now listen we want to connect with you we want to stay in touch with you so make sure you reach out god bless you we we trust that you have enjoyed yourselves and we look forward to seeing you again real, real soon here at the Judah Christian Center Church. God bless you as you go.